So the first place where we, fo- where we want to focus on is in Central America. Central America and your Caribbean islands are in use for different reason. First, the island of Hispaniola. Hispaniola. Hispaniola is a single island which has two countries, H and D, that is Haiti and Dominican Republic. Always remember HDTV there. Haiti and D for Dominican Republic. Dominican Republic is a wealthy nation. Okay, its per capita income is pretty high. Its human development index is better. It's more than 0.7. It is uh, definitely a, middle, a higher middle income country. But if you take Haiti, Haiti is a poor country. Now, why is it in news? Why you should know the location? Because few weeks back, in Haiti, Haiti already is a lower middle income, middle income country. In the capital city, there was a prison break. And uh, it was international news. And naturally, uh, more number of countries are taking interest here. Because there are questions on political stability, what will happen to crime rates and all those issues are going on right now. So please know the location of Haiti. It is closer to the island of Jamaica and it's immediately south of Cuba. So and it is present in the Caribbean Sea close to Gulf of Mexico. So if by any chance again they ask you to arrange countries from western side, eastern side, east to west, Haiti is an important contender. Now reason number two. Central America and South American nations had several volcanic eruptions this year. So first, I'm going to start from potential questions for Central America. Keep that in mind, most countries in Central America has the tendency to border both your Caribbean Sea and the Pacific Ocean. That is, you take a country like uh, uh, Panama, for example, borders both of them. You take a country like Costa Rica, borders both of them. But you have two countries which are exceptions. That is, the first country is Belize. You can clearly see here, Belize is the northern part of the chain, Belize, B-E-L-I-Z-E. Belize open towards the Caribbean Sea and Atlantic Ocean, but Belize does not open into Pacific Ocean. So they again give you a list, you know, which of the countries border Pacific Ocean. Please remember Belize is towards the eastern side. And the next country which borders Pacific but not towards Caribbean Atlantic is El Salvador. El Salvador, which is right here. So these two are exceptions. Apart from that, every other Central American country you take, it can be Guatemala, it can be Honduras, Nicaragua, or it can be Costa Rica or Panama, they have a tendency to they have borders in both the western and eastern side. This is true for most countries. If you want me to zoom in, take Mexico, take United States, take Canada. All these countries have coastlines on both Pacific and Atlantic Ocean. So there's no chance of confusion here. But in Central America, you might tend to make errors or mistakes. Now, finally, uh, please remember, when it comes to South America, two countries are landlocked where I don't want you to make errors. The first is Bolivia and the second is Paraguay. Except these two countries, every other country, if you take in South America, will have definitely a coastal border bordering either the Atlantic Ocean or the Pacific Ocean. And one more area where students will tend to make error is on the location of the relationship between Chile and Argentina. Please look carefully. Like most students uh, might miss this part. Argentina is a broken country, meaning if you look at uh, the extension of Argentina, it will be interrupted by Chile. You can clearly see that they've, you know, they've clearly indicated where the boundary of Chile comes into picture. So please don't have the tendency to think that Chile is a country which has its borders, political boundaries, only towards the Pacific Ocean. Technically not correct. Uh, because of, uh, you know, the fragmentation of Argentina at the tip, a small segment of Chile actually borders Atlantic Ocean. So you can clearly see that. Please refer to your map also. You know, just to show you more clearly, I think now it's much more visible. Slightly fragmented. Uh, even if you take the southern part, it's definitely having a tendency towards Atlantic Ocean. So don't make errors there. And now for the last one, that is the islands of the Atlantic Ocean. More of a revision because there is always a tendency for them to ask questions if they definitely touch about north and south. The first is islands of the North Atlantic Ocean, that is Azores, which belongs to Portugal. A-Z-O-R-E-S. Close to Mid-Atlantic Ridge. Away from Mid-Atlantic Ridge, one more group of islands which belongs to Spain, that is Canary, C-A-N-A-R-Y. And then moving towards South Atlantic, you have two more locations. That is, uh, first is Ascension. So it's off uh, the coast of uh, Angola, Ascension, A-S-C-E-N-S-I-O-N. And lastly, you have St. Helena, coast of Namibia, St. Helena. So as I again told you, uh, the discussion which we had, uh, including these two islands in the last, is based on 
the frequency of news articles or which areas prominently had represented uh, in your uh, current affairs. So always remember, I always recommend that you revise the entire world because the syllabus is always vast and you want to make sure. But this discussion is more oriented and it's more focused on the increase in probability of asking questions. So if you have studied the world map in detail, this can definitely be a good revision for you to possibly collate and then try to organize your own uh, revision before you attempt your prelims exam. So that's with the world map revision for the last one year.